One of the last steps to get the iFlight Cinebee 75 HD flying in the air is getting the OSD and the RSI set up correct so you know that the signal between your drone and your transmitter is strong before you're gonna start flying FPV. And you can also see when you're getting out of range. So it's time to get back home or return to home. So it's very important to get it working. And for that, you have to get into BiddyFlight so you can f configure and set up the OSD and you get you can choose of course for the right information on the osd that you want to see i prefer of course the voltage the irc signal and the amps that i'm drawing from the little drum of course if you want you can get the height there are a lot of options that i can show you in beta flight so this is me gonna be a quick tutorial to show you how to set up your osd and your rsi the iflight cinebi 70 face hg come equipped with osd and rsi you do need to set it up yourself in beta flight so let's go into the PC and get to it. Yeah. I got a fan blowing to cool the drone because the drone gets really hot and this costs a lot of time. You need to be really quick if you don't want the VTX to burn out. So let's get to it. When you open Butterfly, you get the setup. And then right here you get the RSI signal standing at 0% at the moment. And here's the OZ where you get all where you can set up all the different information as I will set it a little bit like the way it was when I got to it. And then you get all these nice configurations in your screen. Uh, now you can change the information. If you like the information, you can pick it up and move it around the screen to set it in a location where you like it to have it. But maybe you prefer it up in the corner, maybe you prefer it like me down below. I don't prefer a lot of information, too much information can cloud up the whole screen. I want to get it as clean as possible. So I remove the range, I remove the altitude. Battery voltage, average voltage is nice to have. I have that down below, right in the corner. Then battery current draw, this positive amps is standing at the full. Then the battery voltage, overall voltage of the battery, a compass bar. Is something I don't need. The core temperature is right here in the corner. I would like to know that if it starts to overheat, very important. I don't need my crosshairs. I can aim on it for myself. And some people like the warnings, but then you get that low voltage or full voltage all the time in the screen. And I don't want that, so I remove it. I want do want to have the RSI value. That's right up in the left corner, standing at zero percent at the moment. And that is because you have to go to. A receiver channel where you find your RSI channel. Now you need to connect the drone with your transmitter. So I'm turning on my trans trans X9 light and connect that with the drone. So we get the RSI signal and we get the receiver hooking up. Now you can see that AUX 12 is twitching. You can see that AUX 12 is moving around. And that means that it's my RSI channel. Now you go to the upper corner where you find RSI channel, standing disabled. Now I'm setting that to the AUX 12. So it gets the input from AUX 12 that you can see here, moving around. Click save. Then if you go to setup, you should see your RSI value above 0%. And at the moment, something is not working correct. Let's see if we can fix that. Now you can see that we have the RSI value. Let's connect the drone and check if we got the RSI value in beta flight. Now you can see in beta flight, right here at the setup connection, we got 70%, 73%. So, and in the screen is jumping between 70, 80 and 90. There's a slight difference. Or maybe it's because the radio is too close to the drone. Because sometimes when the radio is too close to the drone, the drone doesn't arm. I need some distance to get some really good connection between the drone and the radio. That's why the RSI signal is jumping up and down. But it's really good to have, of course. So you can check if there's a problem with your receiver before you're going to start flying FPV. And you can see when you're flying out of range. So you can save the drone before getting into failsafe and crash the drone. And maybe lose it because you don't know how, where to find it because there's no GPS on it. So it's a great tool to have to prevent any problems 
from occurring so you don't lose your drone. I really hope you like this video. Then please add it to a playlist. That would help me out a lot. And check out the other related videos that are coming up. I really hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if you're not new to this channel, then please subscribe. And give this video a like. I hope to see you next time. This was DYC signing out. In the next episode, we're going to be having a test flight with the iFlight Cineb 7580Z and doing a review on how to set it up in beta flight so we get the iFlight Cineb 7580Z in the air. I hope to see you then. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.